Hi, this is Max Drake. I want to talk to you about um, uh, this app I developed, a uh, mobile app using um, uh, Glide. Uh, this is a, a free tool, or there is a free version of this tool that you can build um, apps from a Google, uh, Google Sheets. So if you've got information inside Google Sheets, and here's just some data that's inside here, you can create an, a mobile app that you can do. And on this one here, I suddenly um, created this app. Um, if I've got my finger dragging up and down on the screen there and it just bounces up and down. Um, so basically, um, the navigation that it's doing on the app is it's saying which sheets I'm using. And uh, so here's the sheets that I'm actually using. And if we just go onto Google Sheets, um, you'll see those are the actual um, uh, sheet names that we've got. So um, I suddenly thought, well, if I was doing, uh, what would I actually want for an app for a, a property that I'm, I'm maintaining? And one of the ideas that I've been thinking of is that you actually have somebody from a maintenance team that goes onto site and does some work. Why can't they just do a visual check and check out the quality of the finishes or whatever or certain aspects of their particular work so that they can just give it a once over uh, you know take another half an hour of the time that they've actually taken to actually get to the site they've done the actual work that they've gone there to do and then they just check on the rest of it just to see that it's okay so that you actually have an app that can actually just check on those things now i based it on some condition information that i've had which was based on some of the 3d pdfs that i've got so within the 3d pdf um, i've got information in this particular one on uh, building services, I've got some on air conditioning, I've got some on lighting, I've got some other things. So there's data inside my 3D PDF. Um, I've extracted just basically, this was a first time shot at actually doing um, this app. So initially I was suddenly thinking, right, I need to do something for wayfinding. And so I was looking at some maps. So I've got the first floor plan and I've got ground floor plan. And then I've got a links to where I can actually get all of the PDF, so you can download the 3D PDF on this mobile app if you needed it, or you can actually go through, and each particular room has got some room data on it. Now, on this one here, I've actually only focused on finishes. I haven't focused on other equipment on there. You could actually build this app to actually say, if you're going through in the mechanical services, Go and look at the grills. Are they all clean? Um, uh, and just check to see if there's any complaints. Just go and look at the fuses or whatever, or go and look at the filters and see what the pressures are. Go and look at the main. Um, just do a quick check on the uh, emergency smoke uh, fans. You know, there's a few little things that you can actually just do to go and do the condition. One of the things in here, this was, again, the first app that I've done, and this was based on the condition. And you can see the sealing condition. There's sealing condition two. Um, sorry, um, this is for, let's just go into here. This is for live, this is room name lobby one, and we just say the ceiling condition two, and they can say, look, somebody's gone through there with a ladder or something and they've scratched it. We change that condition to ceiling is condition three, and it's done. We can also add a not comment on here, and we can add a comment and just say, uh, ceiling, uh, paint finish scratched by Lana um, and the and then we can post that and that goes through to there and if we go and look on our spreadsheet um, we'll actually go through and look in the room data and we look on room number one come on think about it room number one and we've got the ceiling and we change the ceiling from a two to a three and in the glide comments we've got another cell that actually says um, today that I've just actually made a comment through for that one I seem to have two for some reason maybe I've double tapped it or something but basically 
I can convey information back to somewhere else. So if I actually have a mobile app out there, I can go out, I can do some inspections, I can do some editing on those inspections, I can do it by room, I can search on all of the rooms in there. There's 21A, so I can look up 21A, we'll say, and there it's giving me some information on there. If I go to room 12, um, here's room 12, and it's a workroom, and inside that workroom I can download a PDF. So this will now download that actual information sheet that I actually have on that room and I can see some of the things through there. As I said, this is purely architectural. You could do this for any services you want. You could do it for your plumbing so that when somebody went and inspected the plumbing in the place, they could just check the sinks and everything to see that all the taps and the valves and everything are working fine. So it's a way of what I was envisaging is basically you have people going in doing a bit of work. They can also just do a validation of the condition of the rest of the elements to do with their particular service. So if you've got a painter going in there, they can just check the rest of the things. Then the other thing with this is that this is just an overall information or front end information on the on on the library itself just a bit of general information on there it's got a map showing where it is if I click on the map it'll actually take me um, because I'm actually on a, a desktop it's going to take me to that one there but it would actually zoom into the map thing there I can go to the library website I've got the plans through here and I can click on the first floor plan or sorry ground floors further up um, I'd most probably have to reorientate those plans or do something to actually give maybe a list of the rooms just to make it clearer um, and then I can actually go and get the 3D PDF if I actually down wanted to download that or the 2D stuff. I've got the room data, I can download the room data and I've got information on all of these plus some quantities. So if somebody said, hey, look, you've got to go out and you've got to paint that wall, how much wall area have I got or how much ceiling area have I got in that particular area to do or to repair? The other thing that I wanted to do in the app was actually to have a contact so there's a general inquiries. So if you just wanted the general inquiries for the library, that was the link to the library. And I've got the wrong image there. And if you wanted the property manager, that was the information for the property manager that you could just email them directly. Bang. And you just go through and it brings you up an email straight away. So if you wanted to report a fault, that was another method that you could do this. Now this is only for one property and the first time I was looking at this um, I did one for hop on hop off buses where I was doing different translation and ended up with an app for each translation. You may end up with an overarching app and then actually have an app for each specific location that you want or maybe an app for three or four because you don't want anything to, it's a mobile app so you want it to be reasonably fast to load now from the mobile app point of view it's low it's loading uh, a reasonable amount of information not a great amount or anything in the data sheets or nothing like that it's got images that it's loading it's got other data that it's loading it's um, uh, you know we're adding other information as far as uh, there's the condition data that I really need to explain somewhere and there's the comment information that's coming through as well I did find an improved way of doing some of that when I looked at the defects list and the demonstration of the defects list is on a different video so please watch that for that but um, I thought for something that's dead easy to, to set up if you have the information on it and a way of capturing information on an ongoing basis I thought it was a really handy tool and so I just wanted to do a little video on that just to um, uh, hopefully interest you. I hope that's been of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.